guys what is up welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be kind of doing a Christian girls slash women's book haul and kind of a review um, I've got a lot of books recently during quarantine and I've read a couple um, not a whole lot so far I've read like maybe two <laughs> but I kind of wanted to share them with you guys give my thoughts and a lot of them I've heard really good reviews about so I wanted to pick up and share them with you guys it's just been a really hard year so far so it's just been crazy but it's given me a lot of time to kind of re revisit my faith and kind of get back into things and realize what's really important so um, yeah, if you guys want to see what kind of books I have to share with you all, then just keep on watching. So some of the first ones that I have in here are actually by Sadie Robertson. I am a super fan of her. I love her. Um, Duck Dynasty has been one of my favorite shows forever. Like that show just makes me laugh like no other. And my dad and I like to watch it a lot of the time. Um, he really likes it so that's kind of our thing but <laughs> I really like her and she also has three books I have all of them currently I've read this one so far this is her newest one that she just came out with this year I believe it's called live if I recommend any of the books that I show you guys today definitely this one this one is definitely my favorite um, and it could go for a wide variety of different girls and women um, I think would really enjoy this I will put the little picture up on the back so you guys can kind of see what it's about because I'm terrible at explaining things. My stack's gonna be piled right over here. Um, so the next one that I have by her is called Live Fearless, A Call to Power, Passion, and Purpose. So I've, I'm about halfway through this one so far. Um, but I really like it. It's totally just about how to stop worrying and being scared of things and just to take the power back um, and how to be fearless pretty much is it's in the title. Um, but I really love this one as well so far. Um, I really like her book so I totally recommend. Lastly, I have Live Original by her. Um, I think this is the first book that she came out with and I haven't read this one so far but I've heard it's really good for younger girls like high school um, age so I'm excited to eventually get into this one. I believe this one is about being original, being you and um, so I'm totally all about that so I think this one will be really awesome to kind of get into. Next, I have some books by Lisa Turkhurst, and don't mind my Burt's Bees <laughs> chapstick thing as my holder. I was at the store, or I was in my car and I was reading and I didn't have a bookmark to put in here, so don't mind that. Um, but I kind of started this one not too long ago. It says, finding unexpected strength when disappointments leave you shattered. So I thought this would be a really good book to read for 2020 because let's face it this year has been a mess and it's been hard to get through so I thought this one from her would be really good to kind of read because um, it kind of just goes along with this year she tells really good stories and gives her actual real life experiences uh, about her being in the hospital and different things like that so I really like this book so far So I got this one as well. It's called Uninvited, Living Loved When You Feel Less Than Left Out and Lonely, um, which I feel like everyone's felt like that at some point in their life. So I'm really excited to get into this one because sometimes you have to be your own best friend and you just have those days, you know? So I think this book is kind of about that. And it says when the enemy wants us to feel rejected, left out and lonely and le left out lonely and less than. Next by Lisa Turkers, I also have this one, which I believe is her newest one. It's called Forgiving What You Can't Forget. Discover how to move on, make peace with painful memories, and create life that's beautiful again. So it's kind of about how to move on from things or people that have hurt you, let go, 
and forgive. It's all about forgiveness, which is really important. I think this book will be really cool to dive into because I know a lot of people have a hard time forgiving and it is really hard to forgive people sometimes for different situations that they've gotten you into or you know stuff like that and a lot of people hold grudges which is not good so <laughs> they need this book. Next I have two books by Rachel Hollis. I don't know a whole lot about her but I saw some um, things about her and the, a couple of the other videos that I had watched. Um, so these say that they're like self-help, motivational, and inspirational books. And I think they also are kind of Christian faith based. So the first one, I got them for a really good deal. So I was like, I need those. The first one I got was Girl, Wash Your Face. And that's this one. Stop believing in the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be is what it says. So I think this one looks super cute. Excited to see what it's all about. I literally almost hit myself in the face. And then I got this one called Girl Stop Apologizing, a shame-free plan for embracing and achieving your goals, which we need to be achieving those goals. 2021, hopefully you will be better. So the first little quote she has in here says, I believe we can change the world, but first we've got to stop living in fear of being judged for who we are. So it's kind of sounds like the live original book kind of has that type of vibe to it. Then I have this book by Leah Darrow Garrow. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, she's a former contestant on America's Next Top Model. It's called The Other Side of Beauty. Embracing God's vision for love and true worth. Um, this one just looked really cute. It caught my eye <laughs> because the hair, the pink, um, it just caught my eye. It says, you are made for more. Do you feel like you're never good enough? Like you should be living a more Instagram worthy life? Are you exhausted by impossible quests for physical beauty? but still yearn for the validation of being chosen, valued, and deemed beautiful. We live in a world that's so go, 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 Instagram, like my life's perfect. Um, so I think that's kind of what this book is about, about that's not real life, you know, there's more to it than that. Last but not least, I bought my newer, my newest Bible um, back, I think around the time that I graduated so probably back around May um, and it's just super cute looks like this um, if you're wondering what version it is it's the NIV journal the word Bible you can buy it on Amazon if you're interested this is just kind of what it looks like um, you can buy it on Amazon I bought it off a I think a Christian bookstore website I had a gift card to so I bought it from there and this in here is just kind of where I do a lot of Bible journaling. So I'll like pick a um, verse that I think sticks out to me on a certain page and then I will do like little art to go along with it. Kind of stuff like that. Um, I'll show you the one I just did recently which I really loved. It was taste and see that the Lord is good, Psalms 34, 8. And I did, I look on Pinterest kind of to get ideas for this. But yeah, I just do little Bible journaling things in here like I did this. If you guys want a whole video on how I kind of Bible journal and show you like what kind of things, I, like paints and stuff I use, um, I would totally love to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I got a lot to catch up on, so I better get to it. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to comment down below if you have any book recommendations. I think I'll be set for a hot minute, but I would love to check out any that you guys are interested in or have read. There is one other book that I really want to get. It's called When Women Pray. I will put a picture up here. Um, 
that's the next one on my list to get and it's about i think 10 8 or 10 different women that are in the bible that used prayer and how like prayer really changes things in your life so i really want to get that one because i think it looks super interesting but i'm mad at myself because i saw that book once and i didn't pick it up in the store and i haven't seen it in like any store since and i'm like I should have got it when I saw it but well I can just order it on Amazon or something like that but I just I haven't got around to it yet <laughs> thank you guys again so very much and I will see you all in my next video